Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So this is gonna be a little bit different. I actually had plans to make or release a different video, but then I decided to do this video first, so I had to record it, all that good stuff. Um, so this basically is about channel changes to the YouTube channel. I am not getting rid of tutorials by any means, so don't worry about that. But I will be supplementing my content with non creative tutorial videos and the reason for that is simply because I'm noticing I'm, I'm not running out of material to make tutorials on but it's getting to a point where I have to wait for Krita to make new features and update them to make the video if that makes sense so because of that, it can sometimes feel like I'm releasing the same five tutorials over and over again, and it feels really repetitive. Like if I have, I probably have, I don't know, maybe four videos in the same tool by now, because my channel is, you know, a couple of years old, things have changed, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't want... Um, anyone coming to my channel and going, oh my gosh, why do you have so many videos about the selection tool or the reference image tool or um, the brush tool, you know, you may not, it, it might seem confusing, I guess, too, even though it, it'll say, I'll, I put like Creative 5.1 or 5.2 or a new feature, it, it just, to me, it's just like a lot to say, oh yeah, here's five videos of the same thing again. So I kind of want to change it a little bit and add different types of content in between videos. Um, there will be some weeks where you won't get a tutorial, which isn't too unusual. Well, it won't be unusual. I have done that before, um, but it might happen a little more often. Not often enough that you won't ever get a tutorial a month. but. There might be some months where there are no two, like, there might be like two tutorials versus the usual five because I try to put a video out a week. Um, or I may just add in more supplemental content and you will see um, more videos throughout the week that have nothing to do with learning Krita. And I know that might be a little weird at first, but I've kind of done that a couple times throughout the years, and it seems like a refresher in some respects to, to quite a number of you, really. Like, oh, I didn't know you did this, or I didn't know you had, um, you thought about this, or cared about that, blah, 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 blah. And in live streams, you guys often ask me questions about some of these things anyway, so it would make sense for me to respond to that and make actual videos versus waiting to live stream which we all know I am not very consist consistent at. Uh, I also will be doing a little bit more in terms of business videos um, not like how to run a business but just like thoughts and experiences and how I run mine um, maybe some tips here and there um, Trying to think what else. Um, I have a video series coming out about crowdfunding campaigns. Just not to tell you how to do them, just my usual process, uh, how I approach them from start to finish, like from very, very start to finish, from idea to all that fun stuff. And that video will be coming out this week, I think. I have to make a thumbnail for it still. Um, and then another reason why I'm kind of going to pull back a little bit on tutorials is um, created 5.2 and 5.3 have major updates and I don't want to keep making videos on certain features they have if it's going to be updated within a year because like I said it's like the same video multiple times and that can be a little annoying from like a viewer perspective and there's another, oh, and I did make a poll on my YouTube community page, sorry, it's late so I'm tired, and I was kind of curious what people were thinking about me doing a 
podcast stream type video where I bring people on to showcase their individual projects, their indie projects. So you're a writer, comic artist, stuff like that. I want to help get you eyes on your product and get it seen, see if people are interested, um, how you talk about it. Uh, I was watching someone who does this already. Um, and, well, first and foremost is a forewarning. Her channel is very um, not safe for work and for it's a, it's for adults to view. It's not like um, I don't I want to say it's not inappropriate, but it's adult humor, you know. But she dials it back and she helps people get their comics seen. So she and someone else help um, a lot of smaller artists and creators get that uh, notice, try to get the crowdfunding and everything for it, um, just to give an extra boost and um, all that fun stuff. And, you know, it's just nothing, she expects nothing back from it, and um, she she loves doing it. And, it. and I watch them and they're fun. Now, for the most part, those are pretty tame streams, but sometimes her and um, her other types of content, they're just like hangout videos and video games and you know people go crazy not a big deal it's not anything like super bad it's just it's like if you were to go to a party and everyone got drunk and everyone went wild and crazy <laughs> that's basically that on youtube but um she was just talking about how the only way that a lot of indie creators in the indie scene can really grow is if we do videos that help boost each other up and get you know stuff like just videos like that and it doesn't have to be a podcast but it's something I've actually been wanting to do for a while anyway it, I just came up with the idea a while ago that where I wanted to kind of showcase indie people and their businesses and stuff like that so I'm like you know she was talking about it now and or recently and like this isn't something where people are guaranteed to get anything out of it but it's it's good to be like hey you know maybe i'll get some new fans out of it or new eyes on my project you know and it just it just really resonated with me so i'm like you know even though people suck and even though i know people will not be grateful for the fact i take time out of my day to help boost their stuff i do feel very strongly about small business and indies and stuff like that and i need to just I need to suck it up and just do it. So that, um, I need to take the time to outline it, set some ground rules, um, mainly like if you have content that is 18 and up maybe, not necessarily like super graphic or anything, but it's just more for a mature audience. Um, maybe I'll mark the stream like, hey, this is only for these types of viewers or if you have like um, a general audience book or whatever else it is you're you're releasing I can at least give viewers a heads up like hey if you're just looking for a nice um, chill book or comic or um, an animation project I don't I would love to feature those too um, and it's for the family like I can mark the video like hey this particular podcast or a video or whatever it is is family friendly you know to get people who are related to that audience um, able to see it you know just kind of market that better uh, yeah so I'm just trying to see what kind of content it is because I don't I, I don't want to say oh if your stuff is a little bit more mature um, I don't want to say you can't come on my stream but I want to make sure there's like a set ground rule like hey if you have this type of work um, I'll have you on with other people with similar types of work so that way we can have a you know a relative audience to look at your stuff versus me saying every stream has to be family friendly and then it totally ruins the type of content I can have on um, because some people don't want to write for kids and that's totally okay I totally understand that you know um, that's why we have category like, categories of people saying, you know, here's young adult, here's not young adult, you know. Like, I'm not gonna have my stream set up for someone who's doing a romance novel f and say it's family friendly because it probably isn't. <laughs> but I want to make sure that someone who has a romance novel that wants to share it on my, on the stream, 
you know, on my whatevers that I'm doing has a chance to at least share it, you know. So it's just something I'm thinking about. I, I don't know how it all entails and I might be reaching out to some people to be like, hey, how, how should I do this? <laughs> because I don't know if this is a good idea or practical, you know. So, yeah. So that's another thing I'm working on. Um, yeah. Oh, and I'll be doing more art videos as well, like this. I have my Sketch Sunday videos, which you guys have seen, and people are enjoying them. I'm definitely enjoying them. I absolutely love them. They're helping me be more consistent with my studies. Um, I won't lie, there are weeks that I'll record maybe two or three videos ahead of time, but I'm doing them every week anyway, and I already have seen um, my anatomy and stuff improve. Also, I totally forgot to mention this, but in the background my 3D printer is going off, so if you hear that, that's what that noise is. Uh, yeah. I just tune it out. I totally forget it's on. And that should be it for this channel update video. It's 11 minutes that I recorded this and talked and blabbed and haven't shut up, so... Um, hopefully this wasn't boring and you're okay with some of the content changes. If you have anything you want to recommend, like in terms of something you want to see me do, um, there's a lot of art trends out there that I normally don't do because, okay, calm down, Bruner. Uh, I normally don't do because I, I don't know, I just don't pay attention to it very well, which is something I probably should stop. Do I pay more attention to? It's like I'm an artist, I should pay more attention to the art stuff, but it will. So yeah, if you have anything that you want me to talk about more, um, or showcase, or make different videos of, maybe you want me to make more tutorials of a different program, um, I do use Affinity products, so if you guys want videos on that, I can show that. I have helped people in the past with using those uh, programs and it's not a big deal to me like in terms of like helping you I enjoy I just I just started this channel for free stuff because that's what I had at the time um, or anything you want me to talk about like commentary type videos I try not to make too many of those because I don't want to become that kind of channel I, I don't mind talking about certain topics every now and then like the AI one um, because I find them kind of important and I think it'll be interesting from my perspective because I know people said they didn't thought about some things I mentioned before in the stream so um, I thought you know my things have calmed down enough where I think it's safe for me to make a video like that uh, yeah so if there's something you want me to do or talk about or see more of I will be more than happy to make videos like that if it's something that's within my capabilities um, I I have no problems taking suggestions on that um, never be afraid to like ask if you think to ask me to make a video on a specific topic either I might say no but it's highly unlikely unless it's like pure drama stuff because it's like I don't mind sharing my opinion once in a while on certain drama things that I see, but not I don't care enough to make whole videos on it for the rest of my life, if that makes sense. Like, here's my five tweets or whatever on it, and then I'm moving on my life. Because you all get super crazy if it's an opinion you don't like. Not you guys, but internet weirdos. <sighs> yeah. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my Frankenstein Monster Girl painting session. It took about 15 minutes. This is not done yet. Um, I have two more of these to do. I'm kind of using these as a chance to get better at backgrounds. and What better way to do it than using monsters? Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, if you have anything you want to say, suggest, blah, 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 leave them in the comments below. Um, I will do my best to either put that on the list of things to make videos about or answer your questions or whatever else it is you're posting. 
Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the following content coming up, which is way more than just creative videos. And I hope you guys really enjoy these videos coming up because I'm excited about them. And I think it'll just, it'll just be nice, you know, be just something different and something fun. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.